I'm just, uh, ah, tears in my eyes. <laughs> Ridiculous, I know, because you, um, although we don't know them, we feel connected to them somehow. Prince Charles and, um, and the, the, what I call the, fa- what I call the firm, the family, that we don't know them. We feel awfully, uh, strangely as if they're, uh, you know, sort of they're our, our own. You know, and we do, we do do this pomp and pageantry rather well. <laughs> you know, I know it sounds silly, and a, a, a part of me, of course, finds it utterly preposterous, but we, 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 something we do terribly well. You see the uh, soldiers in their um, uniforms, the hats on and the medals and goodness knows what else. You rather, you know, you do. I've cried this morning, I don't know, several times. As soon as I turned on the television and I saw, I heard Jonathan Dimble's voice, I wet. I had a cup of coffee in my hand and I, I, I wept like a child because it's a historical event. Um, and I'd just like to read to you, this is awfully silly, I've penned a couple of poems in case you missed one of them earlier, I'll read it again for you, but I've, I've got a couple here that I've, I'd actually rather like to, 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 to read to you now. Um, uh, 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 let's read a couple of the poems. This, were, this first one's uh, called A Poem for the King. It's rather self-explanatory. I don't think we, 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 we need any more than that. And unfortunately, you know, before I read this, I should say there have been some arrests made this morning from the usual suspects, I have to say, just, you know, the usual, what I, what I call the soap dodgers. <laughs> and that's the um, the just stop oil protest. Well, why don't you just stop being a silly nincompoop for once in your life? <laughs> my 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 riposte to those uh, characters. Well, just stop oil. Well, why don't you just stop? Why, why don't you just stop being a daft wombat? <laughs> and they certainly wouldn't like that if I said that to their face, which I haven't, because I hope to God, uh, 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 you know, I never come face to face in uh, with, 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 with one of those chaps. But anyway, this one is called um, Poem for the King. There's street parties up and down the land on the pavements and beach where there is sand. Hip, hip, hooray for our new king. From our mouths, the national anthem doth sing. The soldiers so smart in their uniforms and a bank holiday where we have a day off from filling out forms. And I know it's silly and I'm not claiming to be the poet laureate. Goodness knows, I would you know, ne- ne- never hope to scale those prolific heights. I mean, quite often I read a poem by the poet laureate and I think, this is wonderful. I think this is the best poem I've ever heard. And it will make me see things in a different way. Sometimes, you know, they're rather long and one, one does get bored, but when they're quite punchy, I prefer, I prefer my poems to rhyme. You know, the poet laureate, I've read several of Simon Armitage's work, and unfortunately, he has a tendency not to rhyme. And for me, that's the key to a poem. Sometimes he'll just, and I'll think, this is just words. This is just, a, this is just a words about going for a walk in the countryside or something like that, which I, for me, is lazy. You know, there are so many words in the English language and it seems madness to me not to rhyme them. But anyway, that's um, that's ne- 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 neither here nor there. But anyway, let's choose uh, my second poem, and I'll I'll read it to you now. This one's called <laughs> the last one was called "Poem for the King." This one is called "Poem for His Majesty." And before I read it to you, I should say I found it rather difficult this one to write because the subject matter is still raw. Um, but I read it to you now. From up in heaven. With Paddington eating scones, the Queen smiled as she watched her son ascending the throne. Her daughter-in-law, Kate Middleton, full of glow and sparkle, and notable by her absence, a certain Miss Markle. 
Our Queen prayed for sunshine and not rain or a shower. From up in heaven, where she is now since she passed our hour. I must confess, not usually one given to given to to to, to, to tears, but um, I penned that, and I did pen it, and I wept, and I imagined. It, it, you know, it sounds silly, and, and on, on the balance of probability, it's not very likely. But I li- I like to imagine her as absurd as it is, Her Majesty up on a big cloud in heaven in one of those wonderful frocks that she wore, and just having a jam sandwich with 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 Paddington. Um, although, you know, many people say, well, he's, is he dead? Uh, and this sounds rather silly, I know, but I like to imagine him uh, sacrificing himself to accompany Her Majesty to, to, to heaven, rather like the Egyptian kings and queens were buried with their slaves. I rather think Paddington would have sacrificed himself uh, in that way. How he would have done it, um, I don't know. Poisoned, perhaps poisoned himself so he could accompany her. Um, to the to the afterlife, or hung himself perhaps in his garage, or perhaps got in a little kind of car, a little bear car, um, attached a hose to the exhaust pipe, popped it through his his window, closed up the window, and and um, asphyxiated himself. And it's a, it's 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 silly, I know, a daft, beautiful, a crazy fantasy, I I I, I, I think, but um, I, I do like to imagine Paddington Bear killing himself to to. You know, perhaps this is well, probably just uh, the, the, the ramblings of a daft old man, but perhaps he, the Paddington slit his wrists, you know, as he said, the, the, the blood seeped out and he said, I, you know, I, I'm going to be with Her Majesty now. And, um, and if one was there, one would hope that they wouldn't, you know, resuscitate him because it's his, 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 his wish. Um, someone said they jumped off Big Ben and I think that would be beautiful and he impaled himself on the spikes and then one can imagine him you know that wonderful cartoon image of him holding Her Majesty's hand Um, she's wearing this pale green frock and her saying why are you here and he said I I leapt off uh, Big Ben and impaled myself on a a spike Um, and I rather think she'd rather like that because they did get on when you watch the, the 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 footage back of that wonderful scene where they're eating marmalade sandwiches. There was uh, a sexual tension, certainly, and uh, one does wonder what they would be getting up to in heaven now. But that's neither neither, neither here nor there. But anyway, I'm having a wonderful um, day today. I'm just watching the um, the pomp and the pageantry, which we do rather, which we do do rather well. So um, I, I hope you're enjoying it too. Um, and um, we'll, we'll, we'll chat again later God save the king